Hello to you, my fellow dark ones. How are you guys doing today? How's life? I am very sorry. At this very moment, you are watching episode 12 and I have been receiving a few comments that I have made a few boo-boos. I'm very sorry that I did not have the time to reply to some of the comments, but uh, yeah, today we're going to address them. I have received a few comments regarding the ore miner and this is apparently my biggest boo-boo. So you might notice that even though we're missing a few speed modifiers, this one is already at maximum speed. Duration, one tick. You can't go lower than one tick. According to your comments, the maximum number of speed modifiers that I can have on an ore miner is 7, a tier 6 ore miner. So I can remove the rest. And also I have been told that I can use luck modifier, which I honestly don't know what it does. Does it apply fortune? Well, it's still one tick. We are getting things faster. Like, way faster. Okay, so maybe it applies fortune. You know, I was reading the wiki and uh, it didn't say anything about lock modifiers. But anyways, thank you so much for the tip. So my dearest handsome friends, thank you so much for the tip. But unfortunately, one does not correct darkness. And unfortunately, I have to walk back because uh, somebody forgot to put the controls on the dragon. So for things like sugarcane and cactus and nether wart, should we have a dedicated phytogenic insulator? Or do we just make a farm? This is easier. Besides, we don't need millions. Yeah, why the hell not? I can just do whatever I want. It's just that it was sticking out a bit. That's it. Also, considering the fact that I need to make one more kikoku, uh, can we make a dragon egg meal? Maybe. We should have everything. Yes. Oh, that was a quest. Deep dark was a quest. Where was it? <laughs> well, it is very true that we have everything. We don't have the actual dragon egg. I left it here. I didn't have a use for it. Thank you for not falling into the portal. Come with me. Yes, yes, yes. Don't crash. Thank you. All right, guys, it has been a while later and I have done a few things around the base. First off, we have a very small structure for tech guns. Also, our dragon egg is over there. And we have a few reaction chambers also from tech guns. I had to automate a few things so that I can get the rifle and also the ammo. I also moved every single mob switch to over here so that we will have a central control station. And I love this. I love the noise. Somebody said we should tank the Eyewolf, but I, I don't really know why. Because I have been listening to him for years and he doesn't make that kind of a noise. Anyways, with your beautiful tip on the lock modifiers for the ore miners, we ran into a bit of a problem. These are the resources that we're getting and they're incredibly fast. It's actually too fast that, uh, look at my drives. We have the capacity to make drives incredibly fast. The only problem is that I haven't automated these guys yet. So I have been digging in our basement and maybe we are going to have a few machines from Advanced Rocketry down here. This very moment, I actually want only three of them. Uh, one of them is of course the cutting machine, the assembler and also the lathe. How do you look like? Where's the rest? That's the entire thing? Okay. I'm actually glad it's four blocks wide because that stupid thing is also four blocks wide and I didn't know where to put it. Oh, and I had to make the hole because uh, we have a connection up here uh, for our applied energistic system. There is an Essentia centrifuge. Well, oh, it's the wrong kind of centrifuge. How do you get enriched lava? No clue. I have assembled them down here and everything seems to be fine and incredibly fast. Uh, we just have to make it look a bit nicer. Just a bit. Also, when it's crafting the logic processor, I have no idea why I have reached Phyto Grow. I checked the recipe, it shouldn't be there. But look at the speed. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyways, while I'm working down there, can you make me like, I don't know, 40, 64 case? Yes. Then do it. <laughs> and nothing is working. Why? Unless you already had all the processors. Oh, you're crafting calculation. Okay, that makes sense. Well, it does look a bit more tidy, but unfortunately I cannot finish the rest of the corridor because later on we want to have the advanced carpenters here. But everything works, it works incredibly fast and I have made so many more storage cells. I don't know, let's order like 20 more to finish all the drives. And yes, this time we don't have fight to grow. I have never ever crafted processors at this speed. However, while we are here, let us also make a crystal growth chamber. It's actually not for the growth because I'm using enrichment chambers, but we are going to use it in order to make flux crystals. Here's a water source. Horologium. It's every episode. Sometimes twice. Wait a minute. I don't have any flux. It's fine. I just made some. So this is kind of my assumption. I'm not really sure if it does that. Do you actually make me flux? Oh, you do. I never used it. We always had a seed or something crazy. Also, another thing that I need is one pulverizer. I am making Phyto Grow and unfortunately, I'm always out of sawdust. So if we have a pulverizer, I think that just gives you sawdust. Well, it's too fast. I can't see anything. Ah, okay. 
it works. This used to be the location of our reactor and I was thinking maybe we should try and have a little bit of a pond over here. You know, for decoration purposes? Yeah, this is a good size. I miss the concrete. Although we are not going to fill it in with water, we have something far better. It is called hydrofluoric acid. We have 2000 buckets. My goodness. Anyways, there is a machine from mechanism called a filler, which that's not it. Well, it's a pump, but it does everything in reverse. Seriously, it's not there. It's fine. There is something called a fluid outlet from immersive engineering. It does exactly the same thing. I thought it's going to need a redstone signal, but apparently not. I just put a tank on top. Okay, it's not filling in my energy crystals. That's good. Does it hurt you? Yep. It does give you poison. Well, it had to be one block lower because it fills in everything until its own level. So yeah, we don't want it to spill over. Anyways, let us get back to the comments. According to one of you, I have made a very small boo-boo. If you look at the uses of a tier 6 ore miner, you might notice that we're missing some very important ores. And those are certus, iron, uranium, silver, tin, whatever. So basically the tier 6 ore miner just gives you like exotic ores. What that means is that we need one more ore miner. And we have so many crystals. So if I'm not wrong, this should be tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 tier 4, and we need the neutron reflectors one more time. I really hate this recipe. It's fine, I'll be right back. Yes, tier 5, one more time. Also, it seems that you have missed a few spots. I'll fill them in manually, don't you worry. I think we're all good. Oh, one over there. Good boy. So based on the comments, this should be another ore miner, if I have not messed up the blocks. And again, according to the comments, we have like 5 speed upgrades. Disable the limit and voila, 1 million RF. But I'm assuming this is actually going to mess up my entire ore processing because we will get ores incredibly fast. Oh my goodness. Am I screwed? I will know once it runs for a while. I'm screwed. That took like 5 seconds. Seriously dude, I just got here. I think we're not extracting the items fast enough. That could be the problem. I don't really want to add more machines, but I'm assuming we have a problem with extracting the items fast enough. Because every machine that I check has this problem. Maybe we need more machines, but let us check first. Don't crash. So first off, let us try more extraction points. Is it better? No. Okay, maybe it is. Is it making any difference? No. So first off, I'm trying my best in order to improve the piping rather than increasing the number of machines. For the sag mills, it's not working that bad. For things that have to be pulverized and then smelted, we are having this kind of a problem. The sag mill is outputting to both sides and it's not doing it fast enough. So there is a pulling upgrade from IC2 and I think we should be able to use it. We just sneak and right click on this side and we put it on this machine. So now it should suck it in. Yeah, you have to specify the side. That's it. It's actually kind of working. Another thing is that maybe we have too many overclocker upgrades. Power is not keeping up. Eventually, I might have to add more machines. I'm not sure. <laughs> Look how fast we're getting ores. So how are you doing? Garbage. Just in case you're wondering where the hell did I get all this experience, it's from the furnaces. 400 levels. Do you also have some left? Thank you. 552. And a bit. Okay, so the problem seems to be solved. I added two more sag mills and I added one more setup for smelting up there. The ender chest for the ores seems to be fine, but now we have another problem which is easy to solve. Importing everything into our system. Well, that seems to be also relatively fine, but I can add one more ender chest. I mean, I could have just used another import bus, but I'm lazy. Yeah, now we're good. Although that means I need more drives. Hopefully 16 more. Yes, we have it on auto crafting. Don't you worry. Anyways, my dearest friend, thank you so much for the tip. I wouldn't have noticed it, at least not for a few episodes. Have fun. It has been a while that I have played with environmental tech, so I kind of forgot that there is something called a nanobot beacon. You know, these guys over here. So maybe we should set one up. We cannot set up the highest tier one because it does require awakened draconium, which, uh, can we make this? No, dragonstone. I need an elven portal. We're not there yet. But we should be able to make a tier five. That's decent enough. This is the worst time to run out of void crystals. It's fine. You go there. Give me some coal, hopefully. Oh, we're actually very close to the opinion course. I think we just need like 12 more. Yes, we're good. I just saw the coal and remembered. So if we order one block, I can set up the filters. Yes, we have everything. Do we have it? How did I mess it up? Yes, my bad. Everything is so black. Yes, now we have it. It's one of those days that you're even out of ink sacks. It's fine. We can have some. 
Who shot me? As usual, there is a gun battle outside. Don't you worry. Anyways, nanobot beacon, tier 1. Be a quest. Come on. Oh, you're not a quest. Interesting. We're just doing this for free. That is a tier 4, and for tier 5, yeah. Oh my goodness. I didn't really pay attention that we need blocks of crystal tiny ingots, but I think we should be able to manage it. I'm not gonna automate it, I just need two. For now. But I think we need like 120 stars? That's a lot. So here are the crystal tine ingots, 38 of them. That should give us the two blocks that we need. And yes, we have a robot. He's our good friend. So my draconian blocks are still being cooked. That's not great. So there is a phantom energy face, yes. I don't want to put anything on top, that is the problem. So if we link you to you, no, not a pedestal, yes, crafting core. And can we give you some power? You're not connected. What kind of a stupid energy core are you? I guess the easiest solution is that we can have a cryostabilized flux duct. You know, this should connect. So now you're connected, disable the limit. Yes. Perfection at its finest. So where were we? Yes, tier 5 nano beacon, which is not a quest. I'm out of ink, maybe we should do some fishing the American style. Lovely, it doesn't have fortune, that's the problem. Wait a minute. Tactical nuke. Oh, I really want this. Okay, put everything on hold. Also you. Actually, we can put everything on hold minus the nether stars. It takes some time. Actually, this could be much easier than I was expecting. Hello, boys. Go to hell. Come on, go to hell faster. We need gasoline or diesel, which we have both. I don't know the color of gasoline. We go with yellow. Actually, we definitely have to go with gasoline because the tank is full. It would be a waste. And I think I have an empty slot here. Yes. I have set up the patterns. Let us get a few tactical nukes. Okay, that could take some time. Give me the one. Oh, it goes inside another thing, which is called a rocket launcher. It's fine. Don't you worry. It's relatively cheap. There you go. Also, just in case, we're going to toggle safe mode off. Have fun, boys. That was awesome. Getting back to our nanobot beacon, we have all the blocks. Now I'm making modifiers. We're going to have health modifier. That should give us 10 extra hearts. Uh, fire resistance is not that bad. I think we should be able to have creative flight. Because, you know, we have elytras on auto crafting. That doesn't work. Why are they different elytras? Can I convert it? Yes. Okay, that one was a bubble. This one is not. I don't mind my flight speed to be a bit faster, so maybe just the one? Just one haste? Never a bad idea. So we can have 20 modifiers at this very moment. We have 6, 7, 8, 9, 2 regen. And there's also a resistance modifier. If you have 5 of them, that's not gonna happen. Basically, if you have 5 of them, you're never ever going to take any damage. And I really want it. Actually, I just realized we have 2,400 Supremium Essence and we can uncraft them. Huh. This is from all the withers. We want this. Charm Resistance. That's so many patterns. I almost have everything. Minus you. So, let us see. Can we have five charms? Yes. We also need some potions of fortitude, which... How the hell do you make this? Oh, awkward potion with obsidian. That was cheap. Ladies and gentlemen, the potions are ready. And we should be able to craft these modifiers. Five of them. Perfect. So that is 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We can have four more. I can glow. <laughs> Why? I don't want to get the saturation modifier because we want to try different types of food. But water breathing is not a bad idea. Also strength. I have a feeling that is everything. My dearest friend, this could be dangerous. Teleport back home. We don't want you to suffocate. What the? Why can't I break blocks? I don't know. <laughs> Don't really know how much power it's going to consume. That's the problem. Whatever it is, we probably have it. Oh no, <laughs> we're missing one modifier. Let's just have one more health boost. I'm being too optimistic. Maybe it gives you like 12 hearts. It's probably not going to do that. Are you fine? Here is your power. And ignore the limit. How much am I consuming? <laughs> no clue. <laughs> but I have so many buffs. Well, we can figure it out from the induction matrix. Yeah, we are consuming 10, 12 million RF. We are generating 37 million. Or 34 million, it doesn't really matter. We had around about half a million Aethium crystals, so we're gonna decorate the walls. We're not gonna decorate it, we're just gonna turn everything black. Oops, that is a problem. I was tired of getting ink sacks and I wanted some black concrete. This will do. The best thing is that this time that I'm flying, there are no more weird noises. 
Another thing is that, yes, we're not getting more than 10 hearts, so we're going to have one more speed modifier. Oops, am I flying faster? I don't know. To avoid the mobs, we're going to have a few light sources. Actually, I can't have them there. We put it on the beacon itself. Because the thing is, this is a tier 5, later on we're going to have a tier 6, and it's going to cover the entire hole. And then we're going to cover everything with enlightened fused quartz. It glows. Yeah, much better. You might notice that I'm in acid and we're not taking any damage. That's all I wanted. That is because of the resistance modifiers, so we're good. Anywho, I think for the moment we are done with this base, it's time to move on. Just a bit. I have been thinking and unfortunately, yes, we are going to need to have access to our applied energistic system in our new base, so we need to have a quantum ring. Wow. But I did make the chambers. No, I didn't make the chambers. Can we have the chambers? No. I don't really want to set up patterns for this because quantum entangler porters are never going to stack. We also need to have a teeny tiny bit of mana. That's enough. Some mana pearls. And voila. Two chambers. For the actual quantum ring, I'm a bit lazy, so we just auto-craft it. But yeah. Which I'm not gonna lie to you, it takes a while. Maybe I should not have gone with mechanism. Also, you know work. It's fine, I can do this by hand. Another very important thing is that I'm not really sure. Is there any merit of expanding this controller? We're pretty close to the end game. How many channels do I need? So we shall have a quantum ring here. You know, like so. We are going to give it a P2P tunnel so that we would be able to use 32 channels on the other side. Like so. Now it is time to get the singularities. And if you guys remember, we were awarded two singularities from Applied Energistics as a reward. You know, a quest reward. And yeah, we have almost 4,000 steel casing. <laughs> I forgot to turn it off. I don't really remember this, but I think it was one ender dust. That's not the one. Yes, one ender dust. Oh, it's just these nine. Okay, makes sense. Just out of extreme curiosity, can we drop them on the ground like so and hit it with a rocket? Doesn't do that. It's a different explosion, apparently. Actually, wait. We turn safe mode off and we try this again. Didn't work. And I have a huge hole. I think later on we even have to automate it because I do remember something from the last time that we were playing Enigmatica. But in any case, a tiny TNT, the singularity, and voila. Thank you. Now we have two holes. Amazing. Okay, so one quantum entangled singularity goes in the chamber and I'm actually scared of using the viaduct. This time we're going to fly. Of course, one of our problems is that our main base is not fully chunk loaded. So maybe not all the machines are going to work, but we will see. Another question is that, where is the center? Over there. So our next quantum link, energy acceptor, which maybe we shouldn't put it there. Yeah, we're going to put it down here. The chamber, the other singularity. Are you connected? How would I know? But you don't look very online. Uh, what if we just use a cable? Dude, theoretically, you should work. You don't. Do you accept direct power? No. I came back to our own base. This one is online. You can even see it glowing. Maybe the distance is too much, so I'm bringing some dense energy cells. Honestly speaking, I don't think it's relevant. Yeah, everything is almost chunk loaded. I forgot that part. Will this help? Oh, yeah. Huh. And we have access to our system. Perfect. Eh, we go indoors. It's a bit safer. Yeah, I'll put the terminal here. Over at our new base, what the hell is going on? Yes, as I was saying, over at our new base, we don't really have that many things to do, but basically what I want to be able to do today is to set up the arcane infusion from Thumbcraft. There was a way to remove armor, fishing something. It's okay, we're going to figure it out later. Also, yeah, we can have a backup. I'm carrying everything inside the shulker box. I'm afraid it might crash me. And because it does take two hours in between the backups, I don't really want to lose any progress. How is the B situation? Not the best. I don't really know why it does that. Actually, before we proceed with the new base, there is one promise that I made to some of you guys. I have been hoping that there's going to be a village somewhere. What is this? Oh, these things. I forgot what they do. Oh, they wither you. I found a village. Don't you worry. Okay, so we have a few villagers. That is because some of you guys have been asking me that you want to join this world. And I'm very happy to add you here. Prince Thomas, Saturday Twitch, Costume, Prof. Oh, you're the jam guy. Nice. Mr. Man, Azorba, Tweak, and Ivy. There is one imposter who is extra. It's fine. I'll keep him for later. Anyways, you are able to buy passive animal spawn eggs from the market, so we have an ocelot who doesn't like me. Be my friend. Please. Please. There's no way out. You're stuck in here with me. 
As a person who's a cat owner, I think you should let the cat come to you. Slowly. But I mean patient. I don't think you can tame ocelots. Okay. You get it from an ocelot. Takes a bit of patience, but my dear Tizona, don't go out. There you go. Actually, I can give you a chest. I guess we don't need the rest of the ocelots. I got a ball of fur. May seem disgusting. Okay. Oh, it's like a scrap box. I got nothing. Oh, what ink. Thank you. How did you get out? <laughs> Please, stay inside. It's safe. Also, having all the villagers inside that fence is great. Do you know why? I will tell you during the night. Well, do you remember the zombies? Uh, they seem to like villagers. I love this. But for the moment, I want to keep you safe, so we make it daytime. For the arcane infusion, we're going to need one pedestal, eight arcane stone like zoo, one extra one. For doing the research, I actually had to make the matrix. So there you go. It goes on top like so. We shall break it. And you know, Silas Mundus. Amazing. We have our arcane infusion set up. And the first thing that we're going to craft is going to be the boots of the traveler. So here is some coal. And Elytra gives you motus. We need a hundred. Yes, it's the filling essential transfuser. I always use the wrong one. Also, since this is going to be our permanent location, uh, let me try and go and bring the rest of the jars. Because I think I left them here. Yes, over there. It has a mining level of obsidian and I'm just punching it. Oh, my emeralds. For the cat. Never picked them up. Okay, so we have a bit of a problem. There was a teeny tiny bit of a problem with the electricity and I lost the footage, but we did manage to make the boots of the traveler. I was hoping to get some instability, but that didn't happen. And unfortunately, the base is no longer chunk loaded. I don't really know how the game itself works, so maybe I have to be over there for it to remember to chunk load everything? Also, why are we getting ores? Why are we getting different ores? Stop working. So, ladies and gentlemen, apparently I just have to walk back. Yeah, I still can't fly. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye-bye. I should not walk in F5. Don't you worry, I just remembered I have my anti-gravity device. The gist of it is, I can fly back.